getting into an IIT is hard, but getting through four years of rigorous coursework, even harder. Maybe that's why more than 2,400 students have dropped out of the prestigious Indian Institute of Technology over the last two years. But IIT has come up with a plan B, an honorable exit for students who find the course too hard. So how does one get a degree from IIT? Well, clearing the joint entrance exam or the IIT JEE is only the first step of the way. To get a BTEC degree, you have to go through a demanding four-year course. And remember, you are tested on each and every step along the way because the four-year course is split into eight semesters and IIT has a very strict minimum grade requirement and many students don't make it past the line. In fact, in July 2015, IIT Roorkee had expelled a record 73 students for failing to make the cut. So what is this exit route, this so-called plan B? You see, the IIT Council had to walk a very fine line. They couldn't compromise the rigorous standards that hold up the quality of an IIT. But at the same time, they had to give an honourable exit to students who didn't make the cut. So the 23 IITs came up with a plan. The IIT Council decided that academically weaker students who didn't get the required credit to make it to the next semester would be given an exit option. At the end of the second semester, which is the end of the first year of engineering, students would be given the choice of exiting engineering and continuing in a three-year degree program or in fact with a BSc degree or a Bachelor's in Science degree. The exact modalities of that exit will be decided by the individual IITs. So does this mean that getting a B.Tech degree is also easier? Well, I'm afraid not. You see, the requirements for a B.Tech degree remain the same. You still have to go through the same rigorous four years. You still have to go through the same tough eight semesters to become an IIT certified engineer. But after the second semester, you get to take a call. Maybe engineering isn't for you. And that's something you decide after your first year as an engineering student. What does this do for students? It saves them from the much feared dropout tag. You still won't be a qualified engineer because technically BSc is an academic degree, but you will still have a degree from the Indian Institute of Technology. So what else did the IIT Council decide? Well, the IIT Council took a bunch of other very crucial decisions. For example, all appointments will henceforth be made on a tenure track system, which means that they will be hired on a five-year contract. All IIT hostels will be revamped starting with IIT Delhi. IITs have been asked to come up with a national action plan to improve research excellence. To internationalize these IITs, the government wants more foreign students and overseas Indians to come and be a part of these IITs and study here. All of this is being done to make sure that the global rankings of IITs increase.